So here are some possible causes of a high idle on a 4AG engine. In this list they are ordered by the ease of checking and fixing the problem. You have uh, the, an incorrect idle screw setting, it's just adjusting the, the idle screw on the throttle body as I show in another video, you can find it in the description. Uh, you can have a too rich uh, mixture. This is just another bolt that you can adjust on the engine. If you do not have the carbon monoxide sensor available, what you can do is uh, tune this by ear, uh, go for a ride and see if you have any pinging or if you have a uh, loss of power. If you feel the car the same and there is no strange noise, dieseling noise coming from the engine, it's okay, no problem there. I know some people who have uh, already tuned this this way, uh, even rebuilt engines and engi engines that are in, in excellent condition they use it in the minimum setting without any problem. You also have the added advantage of using less fuel. It really uses less fuel. I went for a, from 7.5 liters per 100 kilometers to a 7.1. So really, uh, really a difference, noticeable difference after tuning this. So what happens when you have a dirty throttle plate is that the dirt will accumulate in these areas here where the plate meets the throttle body and the carbon buildup will make the throttle body stay open just a little bit. This will uh, cause additional air to go within the to go inside the engine and uh, will raise your idle as well as your overall RPM because the throttle body will not the throttle plate will not shut off completely like it should. To do this, you will need a special spray for cleaning carburetors. You can find this at your local parts store. In the A86, just remove the air hose that goes to the throttle body. Raise the engine to approximately 3000 RPM to 1.5 and then uh, spray in the intake. So spray all around so that you can clean all the carbon all around the, the contact uh, location between the plate and the throttle body itself. This is how a clean throttle body should look like. Vacuum leaks often occur on any engine and the 4AGE is no exception. Remove each of the vacuum lines that goes into the throttle body and see if there is an increase in RPM. If there is no change in the RPM, you may have a vacuum leak in that location. You can also spray a little bit of carburetor cleaner in the area where you wish to check for the vacuum leaks. If you see, if you notice an, a rise in the RPM uh, by the time you spray, you know that there is a vacuum leak somewhere in that location. Check the state of each of these connecting clamps to see if they uh, seal right. And if you have old uh, vacuum lines, like for example with small cracks, you may have to replace them. This sort of vacuum lines is sold at Toyota and uh, other parts stores. Just have to measure the diameter of the line you want and they will sell you a certain amount a certain length so that you can uh, cut it to size and install it in your engine. Look around in the throttle body area, in the sensor, the vacuum sensor area, as well as the TVIS control system, which has an actuator solenoid, as well as another control valve underneath. The hoses in this area are especially uh, sensitive because they are uh, near the engine and they may develop small cracks as the years go by. 
also as years go by people tend to make inventions in the cars uh, mismatching the places where the vacuum lines go and often sealing off the vacuum lines that should not be sealed off the best way to spot these vacuum line mismatches is to meet up with another person that has a working car check each line and see if the lines go into the same place this is an example of a vacuum line that was just sealed up with a bit of hose and a bolt on the end look for this as this will be your first uh, signs of trouble when you are looking in the engine bay wrong ignition timing can also cause a higher idle because if the ignition timing is uh, too advanced uh, you will have an idle that is higher than usual I have made a video on this, you can check it out in the description where I show all the details of the tuning the ignition timing on an A86 Wrong TPS uh, position or adjustment can also cause a higher idle because the ECU may think that the throttle is open when it is not and it may use uh, more gas which can result in a higher idle, more fuel consumption and a, a strange jerking motion when you go through the gears Lastly, you may have a stuck idle control valve. This is a valve controlled by the engine coolant temperature. It is open when the engine is cold and it will close when the, once the engine reaches its operating temperature, thus increasing the idle when the engine is cold and uh, returning the idle to the normal RPM once the engine is hot. To diagnose the valve, put your finger over the small hole you can find inside the throttle body. If the RPM goes down more than 100 rpm you have a stuck idle control valve if that is the case you have to remove the throttle body from the intake uh, manifold here we can see the idle control valve with the some Phillips bolts that hold it to the throttle body and then there are two uh, pipes that go into the valve these, these pipes run engine coolant so if you have, uh, before removing the throttle body, inspect if uh, one of these pipes is cold and the other one is hot they both should be hot because there should be circulation of uh, coolant in those uh, two pipes if one of them is cold, one of them is clogged and you have to remove the, the rust that sometimes accumulates due to the lack of antifreeze. These cars were old and uh, people do not, did not use antifreeze at the time. Remove those Philips head bolts and you will have access to the inside of the throttle body uh, and to the idle control valve. Uh, put this in a hot bath of uh, hot water for the valve to open and then uh, blow some compressed air inside. You will see a lot of gunk come out, uh, rust and all this stuff and the, the uh, idle control valve will be, hopefully will be released. The idle control valve uh, works as a thermostat so it can also break uh, but uh, this does not happen uh, too often. Don't forget to use a new gasket when you are reassembling the whole part. This video was made possible by the guys at the Portuguese A86 forum who, to whom I am very grateful because they have explained all the stuff that you see in this uh, in this video and uh, I have just made a sum, a sum up of uh, all these probable causes. So thanks guys, obrigado. If you have any more suggestions, any more probable causes of a high idle on the 40GE engine, uh, please drop me a comment and I will get all those comments and uh, make uh, a second part of the video when time allows. Till next time, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel.